Hi all, this is Nick Cleverland uh, from Pegasus Property Group. Um, so this is my video statement with regards to uh, what's gone on on uh, property drives. So anyone that's been following the story knows that um, somebody made a thread about me and my company um, about six weeks ago now uh, on property drives. Um, basically I was just inquiring about my company, if anyone knows anything about us, etc, etc. Um, you know, a couple comments were made uh, which were kind of you know, oh, we don't really know who they are or heard of them, but they look like a new company, so we can't really can't really give you much advice. But people still try to give advice anyway, despite not really knowing anything about us. Um, and they also gave some advice um, and information which was kind of incorrect. So you know, I, I saw these comments. I got a little bit. I'll admit, I got a little bit angry, um, a bit emotional about it because no one likes no one likes that, do they? Nobody likes to go on uh, you know on the internet and see. Um, some you know somebody's basically talking about you in any sort of negative light, um, especially when they don't know you. So, you know, I went on there. I made some comments um, about my company just to sort of set the record straight. A um, couple of people that I'm good friends with um, were made aware of the, um, the the you know the thread or whatever. Um, you know, they're browsing property tribes and I've popped up. So, you know, they've gone on there to give me a bit of support because they're you know friends of mine people that I've done uh, masterminds with, things like that. Um, and, you know, um, a couple of people kind of had a bit of a pop at them, and I'm not really sure why, because, you know, they just went on there to um, show us a bit of support because they're friends. Um, and, you know, they, they, they were kind of, um, you know, a couple of people had a bit of a go at them, really. So that got under my skin a little bit. And I kind of thought, I kind of thought, this, this, this doesn't seem right to me. I mean, how can somebody, how can somebody say they're doing due diligence but kind of use it almost like a shield whilst attacking people at the same time it's kind of using you're trying to use the truth but it's to the point where um, you're actually twisting the truth to make it look very negative um, and I think that's what some of these people um, from property tribes um, do essentially now um, with regards to um, you know the private chats that have gone on and all these kinds of things you know um, essentially what's happened is, is somebody who's anonymous has come to me um, and I've got screenshots of all these conversations an anonymous person has tipped off people like my like me and lots of other people as well actually uh, mainly the people who are mentioned in the in the on in these conversations um, they've tipped them all off that this group exists and that there's a, a kind of hit list which the group have put together which is their list of people they basically want to target so um, I believed it I mean you know when you think about it it makes sense that a group like that would exist for these people because a lot of their tax do seem quite coordinated now a few people have made comments like it's a private chat group and it's none of our business or there's nothing wrong with it. We've all got private chat groups where we talk about things. Yeah, I totally get that. If I'm down the pub with my friends having a beer and I'm talking about something, um, I mean, personally, I don't, I try not to talk about people behind their back because I think that's a bit, um, I think that's a bit weak anyway. Um, so, but that's just, that's just the way I like to operate. Um, you know, if, if I'm down the pub talking about somebody, that's, that's between us, that's our business. However, you know, if I'm meeting people down the pub and the sole purpose of that meeting is to sit there and coordinate attacks on people to discredit, discredit them, uh, to discredit them personally, to discredit their businesses, to essentially lose their money without actually having any facts to back it up or sorry, um, carrying out due diligence, i.e. attacking people with the truth, uh, which is which is nonsense anyway. Um, you know, that's not that's not right, you know, and, and that's a fact. You know, <laughs> having a private chat group of people where you, you basically um, purposefully um, discredit people and you target those people, that's not right. That's surely illegal. That must be illegal. So anyway, so, uh, you know, I went on Property Tribes and, I basically said, look, Vanessa, you've got a shady past. We all know this inside track, you know, ripped off million, millions of pounds off people, uh, made lots and lots of people very miserable. You were involved with this company. So, you know, you, you talk about due diligence, but actually if people do due diligence on you, on yourself, they will find this information, which I did. Um, you know, a couple of people tipped me off to this information. I did some searches and it came up fairly easily, to be honest with you. It wasn't particularly hard to find that information. It certainly wasn't hidden. Um, you know, and the point I was trying to make really was that if you do due diligence on anybody to, a, to the nth degree, you can make them look bad. 
and that's what that's what the property tribes. Uh, I'm going to call them the Vendetta Group because that that would just be easier. The Vendetta Group, i.e., the people in this private chat group. Uh, that's what they do. They take due diligence and they bend it to the point of like making you look bad and discrediting people. Now, these people who basically go around discrediting people, fair enough. Everyone has to do due diligence. Due, due diligence is really important. Um, but it's kind of throwing stones in glass houses, right? When you've actually got a shady history yourself and lots of people in that group um, do have a shady past. Um, it seems a little bit ironic that they're kind of running this group where they coordinate attacks on people. Um, and I thought that was wrong. So, you know, that's why I went on Property Tribes. I said, look, I don't, I don't agree with you um, basically attempting to do due diligence on me to make me look bad or these people that have come to give me support basically um so i'm i'm, I'm now gonna i'm now gonna attack you yeah there's no files on me um you know i'll be open and honest i did a jv when we first started it didn't go too well uh, they settled us out of court because you know end of the day we were in the right and they were in the wrong and that was proven through solicitors and we were settled out of court that's the only thing i've ever done wrong in property yeah any project that i kind of the numbers didn't quite stack up properly because I got them wrong. We've given them their money back and they've gone away happy clients and have done more properties with us. We've got no flies on us whatsoever or my company. So you can try your best to do due diligence on us. The best you could do and the best you could come up with was that John, my business partner's um, uh, LinkedIn profile didn't quite marry up with when we incorporated our company. I mean, come on, is that the best you've got? I've got lots of information on you and I posted that as as to basically to, as as a warning shot, which was you know if you want to if you want to dance, let's dance because you know you don't you don't want to you don't want to cross my path, and you did. So um, you know I told you that I had screenshots, lots of screenshots, which were sent to me and lots of other people anonymously. We've sat on them for the past month. We've gone through solicitors, um, and I know where I stand legally. Everything I've said has been. Um, basically free solicitors. Yes, yeah, so I know exactly what I'm doing. I know what I'm saying. You can't get anything on me legally. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. Um, all those private chats were made public um, by other people on Facebook, not myself. I then reposted those uh, comments. I've then posted those into a Dropbox folder so everybody can see everything. Um, I've not edited. Well, I did edit one of the conversations I scribbled someone's name out because you called them bipolar and apparently that's a very they're a vulnerable person as I was told by one of their friends. So I've actually done that, protect that person to protect them because um, they're mentally ill. So, you know, you make fun of a mentally ill person. That's fine. Um, you, 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 you basically denied this uh, group. Uh, you said that I had no evidence. Well, I did have evidence. The evidence is now online for everybody to see. Um, and that's that. So... You know, I've now cleared my name. I've had this cloud over my head for the past month uh, whilst I've been sitting on this information. Um, I've seeked a lot of advice. I spoke to a lot of very good people about this and I've done the right thing. So, you know, uh, kind of in summary, really. Um, well, I don't really have anything to summarise. I mean, any, 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 I guess anyone that is watching this and they're thinking a private chat group's fine. I've seen a couple of people making comments on Facebook today saying it's just a private chat group. That, you know, it's none of our business. I'm wrong for posting those things online. First of all, I didn't post them. Somebody else posted them anonymously to lots of people that are spoken about in those chats. So I didn't spearhead this whatsoever. Um, it was going to get. It was going to come out anyway because I wasn't the first person to receive these screenshots. Lots of other people have received these screenshots before I did. Um, and those people that did receive those screenshots have posted them on Facebook. Uh, so now it's public information. So you know, I'm just sharing what was publicly available. Um, I would say to people who, um, you know, were following everything that was going on and thought I was a bad person, hopefully you think differently now. Um, all I'm trying to do is protect the community. All I've ever done in property is um, help people out. I've done free videos. I do lots of videos. I do webinars. I do, I write free eBooks um, to help people out, basically. We do tours and stoke on Trent of our properties. Um, you know, we, we raised £3,000 last year for charity doing our tours. Yes, we do charge more money for those tours now than we used to. Um, that's because we're worth more money now because we're busy. We've done 30 projects in 21 months. We're doing very well for ourselves. I don't see the problem with charging more money to come and, and spend a full day with me, you know, of me showing you projects and teaching you what I, what I know. 
So, you know, if you do want to come on one of our tours, you're all welcome, including the people in the Vendetta chat. You're quite welcome to come and meet us. Anyone of Property Tribes that's got a problem with me or my company, you're quite welcome to come and see us. We're not unreasonable people. We're not aggressive people. We're normal people. <laughs> we'll shake your hand and be civil with you. I've got absolutely no beef with anybody off Property Tribes. I've got no beef with Vanessa, Nick Parkin, any of those people in the group. I've got no problem with you whatsoever on a personal level. I just think that, um, you know, the power's gone to your heads a little bit. I think you've you've self-appointed yourself judge and jury. Um, I think property is an unregulated market and you've taken it upon yourself to become the property police, basically policing other people. And you have done a great job and you have exposed some particularly um, awful people from, you know, which has helped newbies not get caught up in their in their trap so you know hats off to you guys totally however um, unfortunately when you run a vigilante group sometimes you get it wrong and sometimes you cross somebody that you shouldn't have crossed which was me so uh, that's all I'm going to say uh, you know where I am if you ever want to see me <laughs> um, and uh, thank you very much